What's going on, my people? It's your boy, Smooth Blaze. And I would like to welcome you to A Moment of Clarity, Part 4, Week 14. Now, before we get into the meat of things, please like, comment, and subscribe to my page. Also, if you have any insight or ideas that you would like me to see so that I can put more material out, just let me know. My email is below. Now, on last week, we discussed things dealing with evolution. Evolving into the person that you need to be versus allowing yourself to lag on the person that you used to. Now, this week, we'll be coming from the movie Harlem Nights. And the theme of this week will be, I'm going to take this little boy to find his mama. And what spoke for me from this phrase was when Richard Pryor had this kid come in, run errands, buy him little cigarettes and all type of things, juices, whatever, and just to tell him to go do things. Now, at the end of the night, he noticed something strange. He's like, boy, where's your mother? My mom dead. Where's your father? My father dead. And he was like, pause for a minute, like, so you have no place to go? No, I don't. So from that point, he thought to himself, like, I need to take you home with me. I'm going to make sure you're good. And the kid said, okay, cool. And from that standpoint, let's look at it from a different perspective. He had a business relationship at first, but it translated deeper within the personal. So, for this week, we will be hitting on the importance of personal and business relationships. Now, before we can understand exactly what a personal or a business relationship entails, we need to define what a relationship is. Definition one, a state of affairs existing between those who have relations or dealings. Definition two, a romantic or passionate attachment. Definition three, a connection between persons by blood or by marriage. Relationship definition four, a connection, association, or involvement. Now, as we reflect on all these definitions, Ask yourself this question. How healthy are your personal and business relationships? Currently constructed. Just read, just have, look in the mirror and ask yourself that question. Now, let's get into some examples of personal and business relationships. On a personal side, we have, of course, your family members. Those are essential things, the groundbreaking of what your perception of personal relationships will be. Friendships, those persons connected to you based on similarities, your neighborhood, and even maybe athletics if you're in state. Acquaintances, people that you run across that aren't in your path normally, but sometimes could cause a chain of events that will allow you to create a bond with. Romantic relationships. Sometimes we interact or find connections with a person on a, that we want to have a long-term relationship with, but it could end up being a season. So those relationships we build to understand the connection with one another that are on more of a personal way. Now, working relationships. These are people that we come and interact with on a daily basis and we spend majority of our time with on a Monday through Friday basis. Now, these relationships could turn into personal because sometimes you can have a connection with a person at work and it could be closer than the relationship that you would have with a family member. It could be. Now, let's look at the business side. We'll start with social groups and organizations. I give you a good example, fraternities and sororities. We get together for common cause, and based on what we believe from our founders on both ends, 
we commit our lives to service. That's a relationship. Two, corporate relationships or partnerships where we have an event, we have vendors come through, we have business partners, we have board of directors. These people around us that pour into our organization, those connections matter. Employee relationships, manager and employees are essential. Without the employees, the managers are useless. So the, the relationship between employees and coworkers for each other, those matter because they cultivate a, a culture. Customer relationships. We always hear the phrase, the customer is always right. It may not be true all the time, but the customer does matter. Meaning that if the customer is not satisfied, eventually your business will fall. Mentorships and coaching relationships. If you want to elevate, you want to get to the point where you're evolving, you're growing into the person that you're supposed to be. Mentorships are essential and coaching is essential because they help you walk through those steps in order to do things and reach your goals. Legal relationships. From a legal aspect, we have to always have somebody that is looking at the best stretch of our business so that we can cross every T and dot our I's. Financial relationships, bringing in a person from the outside to look at your financial statements just to make sure they're in concrete in alliance with the improvement or the involvement of the future for your business. Corporate relationships, you got to have friends in all organizations so you can figure out what they're doing so you can find out better techniques in order to be competitive. But at the same time, brainstorm with them so y'all can find better ways to compete on another level. Now, as we close, I have two questions to ask you. Are your personal and are your business relationships bringing forth value? Are they bringing you value? And how often do you pour in to the networks that you're involved in. Because pouring into these relationships mean more than just what you get out of it, because it's called using if you are. And giving forth value. Every relationship that you decide to become a part of should have some type of positive value within it. If there's too much negative, let it go. Now as we close, I would like to thank you for taking the time out to view on my video. And just remind you, if you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe to my page. Also, share with anybody that would need this information. But always remember, do you play the game to win, or are you just playing it safe so you won't lose? This is your boy, Smooth Blaze, and I'm signing out. Peace.